Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Boomslang here, and hey, um, decided to go um, live here and see what see what's in these packs. All right, so let me get my live stream set up on my phone. There we go, so I can see the chat. So I can see the chat. And turn down the volume there, so. We don't get the uh, feedback. So I bought 32,000 cards uh, tonight off of our, the uh, video is um, still um, editing. It's in editing. It's at the editors being edited for upload onto YouTube. But I figured what the hey, these are the only unopened packs. You see, I've been sorting cards out here today. So thanks for stopping by, A Central Valley Cards. How's it going? <clears throat> um, so 32,000 cards. Um, the video is at the editor, like I said. But um, unlike one of the, the one of the last lots I got, where I got a whole bunch of um, uh, unopened packs and boxes of cards, this is the only the only ones I've got, and Laying loose, not inside here, but in one of the other boxes, in, in the box that all these other boxes were in, and you'll you'll see it in the video. Or is it these two cards here? But there's Frank Thomas right there. Unfortunately, it's got the name on front, but I wouldn't expect it to be a no name on front. So we've got, what, 4, 8, 11, 13 packs. Oh, lucky 13. We've got 13 packs of... 1990 tops. There's the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and rip these open. Hey, Mike Heath, how's it going? So, um, and then I'll be doing other videos. Of, sorry, bump, bump the, uh, um, the camera. And then there's no guarantee that these weren't already opened either, guys. I don't know. You know how it is. Um, but they were still in the box. So, what the hey? Still in the wrappers. So, let's go through them and let's just get them out of the way. We'll find out if we have any good cards in here. First of all, there's how many cards in a pack? Fifth, supposed to be 16 cards. So, that's how we'll tell count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, there's 16 cards. So either they took the time to count and replace each card, or they haven't been searched. So maybe they haven't. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because there were boxes. There was probably seven, seven or eight other boxes of cards that every pack was opened up in them. So I don't know. We'll see. There's a Jose Canseco. And by the way, guys, I am... I am sorting cards. I'll flip this over here. I am sorting cards currently. And right there you can see the Conseco pile that I've been going through. Just out of that, like that 3,200 or 4,000 count box, whatever it is. This is what I've been kind of sorting out. So we'll put Conseco with the Consecos. And there we go. So let's finish this up. So, there's the thing. There's the thing. All right. So, let's check the counts, uh, the, the chat. Hey, Truth. Um, I, had a, I had an okay weekend. Um, I couldn't go any, anywhere to flea markets, um, mainly because my wife's under quarantine. Let me get my glasses. My wife's under quarantine because she had to get her COVID test prior to her cataract surgery that is coming Tuesday. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, 
uh, the brave sign was going to be three bucks plus, I don't know, like, uh, shipping. I got to find a, the cheapest way possible to ship them because I took like one of these bulk mailers. Let me just take a little break here. One of these bulk mailers. Where did I put them? Bulk mailer. So there's the the brave sign you're talking about. Pretty cool old school Braves. Um, yeah, they're gonna have to be changing their name probably. That's gonna stink. Um, so I like this here. Like to ship it in this is like seven to eight bucks just to send it in this. I think. Um, I know Central Valley Cards. He wanted two. He wanted these two. And I have them set out. Old school Padres, old school Indians. Um, I have them set out. Uh, I haven't been able to get to the post office, though, because I'm trying to avoid crowds of people. Excuse me. Oh, I reach across here. You know, uh, because my wife, like I said, my wife is on lockdown. Uh, she cannot be exposed and um, risk, you know, catching anything before her surgery. Then her surgery will be canceled again. We've been waiting like six months to get this cataract surgery thing done. Um, she really needs it. She can hardly see. And it's going to help her be able to see. That's for sure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you're getting it for a friend. So, yeah, so it's three bucks for this. And, and I don't know what it's going to cost to mail it. I don't know what the cheapest what route is, uh, whether I go out and buy a pack of mailers. Now, I do have mailers, but <laughs> they don't fit. That stinks. They, 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 they don't fit in these. They look just, just a little bit too big. They were just a tad bit too big. I guess I could send it in this, but it's going to have... I can tape the ends, so... I mean, I'll just try it that way. I just wanted to have bubble on everything. I didn't want to have any corner damage like that one's already got a little smudge, smudge on the corner. But I wanted to try to keep them from getting any, any other damage. But whatever. Um, I'll email you, and uh, we'll work it out. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I'll, I'm set up. Uh, I have a PayPal. I'll just get you guys the information. Um, I think uh, I have your email for both you guys. So um, I will get you. Let me write down truth your email again. Unity Vapes. I have to write that down. Um, All right, let me write this down real quick. Yeah, no problem, Truth. Um, let's see. It's, if my pen will decide to write now. There we go. All right, I got your got your email. I'll email you my PayPal information, guys. That we just do it through PayPal, and it'll all be done. I've never used PayPal for um, anything other than to buy stuff. So to get money is just a little bit new for me, I guess. All right, so here we go. So that's two packs down. We came up with a Conseco so far, um, and the gum is. Doing its best to stick to everything, which is good. By the way, guys, I, uh, I'm also working on something else. And I talked about this in another video. I don't think I can sell them. But I have my daughter-in-law working on some shirts for me to wear. You know how, like, Donald Blumdahl has shirts he wears during his 
streams and stuff like that. I have shirts that I'm working on. And basically, I'm going to make the front of the shirt look like the top wrappers. So it's going to have the 1990 with the baseball green, you know, all this stuff's going to be on here. Now, I don't, Tops are probably going to be upset with me for using their thing, but until they do, uh, I'm going to be wearing them because I'm not selling them. It's just for me. So we'll see how that goes um, for the channel there. It's going to be neat. It's going to be neat. I'm going to have one for each year, and then I'm going to branch off into the Fleer wrappers, the Dunruss wrappers. You know all the all the different wrappers. I'm gonna have a shirt with all the different uh, like old, kind of old school vintage type wrappers that I have. All right, so we're on another pack here. Let's see who we got in here. There's a Dale Murphy. So we're gonna put Murphy over on the Dale Murphy pile. And so far, like just out of that one box, there's my Dale Murphy piles. And that's how I'm kind of sorting cards right now. I'm just sorting by uh, by player. I, I really am a, a, a set collector, and I, I enjoy putting complete sets together and see how many different com oh, how many complete sets I can put together. And trust me, I can put a lot together. Um, yeah, the gum is doing its thing, but it hasn't melted through. It's just kind of tack ticky tacky to the backy. So, if you make a 91 top, sure, I'll buy one. But instead of tops, put the, spell it with one P. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Will Clark. So, Will Clark will go in the Will Clark pile. Where's the Will Clark? Oh, I got a Sebo on top of Clark. That will not do. So here's the Will Clark pile. Just a bunch of different Will Clarks. And again, these are just, there's a rookie card, right? These are just out of um, that one 3,200 count box. Now, so when I when I originally get these boxes, guys, I, I sort them by, try to sort them by manufacturer. But since I don't have empty boxes to put them in, I mean, the last, I don't know how many 100,000 cards or whatever, I've only been able to sort um, by Hall of Famers fan favorites and everyone else so this box was a box of fan favorites and i just decided you know i'm kind of bored today i started sorting them and then art gave me a text saying hey there's andre dawson he says hey i got the uh, i got some cards and i'm like all right i'll be down i'll be down to pick them up i know i got andre dawson piled somewhere but obviously it's not that big yet Interesting. So we're going to put Andre right here for now, next to uh, Bernard Gilkey. Dave Winfield. There's my Winfield pile. Yeah, I may not have had a Winfield yet either. Interesting. By the way, uh, for you, here's some Justice cards that I've had out of this box so far. just a small stack not a very big stack john wathan he goes in the john wathan pile you not i have a have a few john wathans here so far that's the same that's the same that's the same that's the same john wathans all right and that's that we got a couple more packs to go Again, thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. Justice played in every playoff in the 1990s. Yes, that is uh, a fact, Jack. Um, I think Truth told me that before, and I had to fact check him on it. And, yes. All right, here we go. Dante Bichette. 
Kirby Puckett. You know, I don't have a Kirby Puckett pile yet. Interesting. Robin Yount. I didn't have a Yount pile yet either out of that box. But I didn't get all the way through it before I got the call to come pick up cards. And, you know, when the card... Oh, by the way, so Art tells me... He told me, he goes, man, I am beat. So what would you do? You, you work hard today or what? He goes, no. He goes, I, I loaded up the bed of my pickup truck with baseball cards. And I had to take them all down into my basement. And he goes, it's like 400,000 cards. Cards, not baseball cards. So he gets basketball, football, hockey, baseball, whatever comes. Then he sorts them all out between baseball, football, you know, basketball. And I buy all his baseball. And I would imagine he has, he has someone who buys all his uh, all his other sports. I paid I paid like roughly uh, five dollars per box. He said, so for thirty two hundred cards, I paid five dollars. And I have the, the video, like I said, it's at the editor, which is actually my computer. Here's a Donnie baseball. So who doesn't love Don Mattingly unless you just hate the uh, the Yankees altogether? That goes on the Mattingly pile. I'll show you that in a minute. It's not a very big pile. But again, it's only one box. So here's the Donnie baseball pile. Wonder Bread. That's a nice one. I like that. The classic guy card game. And that one there. I forget where I got that one from. Any Heltons? Um, I do have a couple Heltons. I don't have a pile of Heltons. Um, but yeah, I, I, mean, I got tons of Todd Helton cards too. Um, so the, the Helton set I came across of out, of out of this box. Right here's a Todd Helton. It says prospect card on it. That's one Helton. That's the back. It's a Fleer. Fleer 98. And then there's a Todd Helton score. A rookie card. There's Todd Helton with um, Tulowitzki. That's a team checklist card from Upper Deck. Hey, um, Alex, how's it going? Let's see. What other Heltons do I have here? And a lot of these are um, Jose Cruz Jr. cards. And then some newer cards. Yeah, so only only those few Todd Helton's so far out of that box. This is not. Um, I haven't even gone through any of the boxes that I purchased tonight. Um, just um, going through the unopened pack. Since I did some of this last night, I figured, you know, what the heck did I go through these already? Probably did, right? Yeah, there's nobody there, and he's on the back. So, all right, so. Um, yeah, guys, don't forget you guys who have the wrench to go ahead and feel free to link your YouTube channels. Um, that'd be that's okay. You know how it works here. Um, we want to help each other grow. Uh, let's see who is new here. Collector, collecting with Connor. All right, Connor. Hold on, uh, you don't have a wrench yet, Connor. Let me give you a wrench. Um, Craig B is sending me messages. Uh, let's see. So, Connor. All right. Now you have moderator, Connor. Go ahead and, and link your link your YouTube channel. If anybody here is not um, subscribed to Connor. Go hit him up. Also, Connor, if you're not subscribed to any of these other guys here, 
guys link your channels so Connor can can hit you up. Ozzy Smith. I don't even have an Ozzy Smith pile started yet. Don't have a Larkin pile. Oh, you know why I don't? Because they're Hall of Famers. They're not fan favorites. They're Hall of Famers. That's why I'm not going to have their piles. No pile, no pile, no pile, no pile. Hall of Famers. Question answered. All right. So, you still there, Connor? I'm going to, if I can show Connor's. My channel is Collecting with Connor. Yeah, but you have to you have to link your like go to your home page and the at the top of your, your browser page there, it's gonna show your the hyperlink to your channel, HTTPS, blah 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 blah, and a bunch of squiggly numbers and letters and stuff. You have to, you know, highlight that, click copy, and then paste it in here at the in the chat window. <clears throat> Cause if you just put it down there. I know there's probably no other collecting with Connors, but you'd be surprised how many David M's there are or Chad or whatever. Uh, Frank Robinson, of course, he's Hall of Famer. Ah, the Fred McGriff. Crime dog himself. Hmm, how convenient. There's like only one. One or two nice cards, but here's the here's the McGriff pile so far. I'm not even gonna go through it all. You guys can just this is the McGriff uh, pile. Dude had a ton of cards. Where's that sparkly? Look at this nice sparkly Pacific collection card. Um, cool sparklies. So let's see who else was I? I was watching someone's channel. I found a new, a new channel, guys. So that I'll just give him a shout out right now. <clears throat> Let me. Um, I'm gonna hook. I'm gonna link his channel here. Um, I don't know if you guys are. Um, um, he's got 401 subscribers now. I was number 400. videos and I will link it right down here so there's a, a another guy I found tonight <clears throat> um, so if you guys haven't uh, subbed him up, go ahead and hit him up, and uh, yeah, just let him let him know where you uh, where you found him from. If you're not already subscribed to him, obviously he's got 401 subscribers. So um, and you know just hey, if you're if you're a new subscriber, let him know. Hey, I'm new to your channel. That's what I've started doing. Say hey, listen, guys, I'm new to your channel. You know, um, hey, I gave you a sub. You know, could you just kind of hit me, uh, hit me up back? And everyone's been nice enough to do that. So, I mean, that's cool. I mean, we gotta, we gotta find all these other guys. Like, there's a whole bunch of people out there that, um, there's another Kirby that we don't know that we don't know about. And Robin Yao looks like a repeat pack. Nope, there's a Carlton Fisk, our first Carlton Fisk. But a boom. And let's see what else. <clears throat> Let me get back to my live stream. There we go. Thanks, guys. Thanks for going subbing them up. All right, we've got three packs left. Three packs left out of the 13. So I'll be right back.
All right, so I went and grabbed that box from downstairs. The one that, um, well, you'll see. All right, so here's. So everyone's running out of supplies. Um, talk with Art and our mutual friend. Um, he's going to, he got hurt. The guy who uh, hurt his back that sells me my supplies. So he had to cancel his last, uh, last order I made, which was for 10 boxes, 10 5,000 count boxes. And a case of uh, 10,000 penny sleeves. And he had to cancel it. And so I found out from Art that he hurt his back. And he's uh, been, on, been out of work for two weeks now. And that, that coincides with the order being canceled that I placed. So um, Art's going to try to finagle it so he can pick up my order for me and then I'll be able to pick it up at his house look it's an Eric Plunk Kerplunk sorry if I got these cards off the screen guys trust me you're not missing much all right we got one pack left Get off of there. There we go. All right, so we opened up 13 more of these. Combined with the nine last the other day. Edgar Martinez is a Hall of Famer. Lance McCullers Sr. Pudge Fisk, the original Pudge. Tom Glavin. Three Hall of Famers in this pack. They're only halfway through it. And that's it. Second half was a dud. All right. So that's that. Um, the only Thomas no name was this one here. That was laying inside of a box. A big box. And that's was laying just loose. So. A lot of commons. Commons. We'll just put these over here. And now this box. This box caught my eye it's just the first one i opened up when i came home and i showed my wife i said oh yeah we'll just you know they're just these small how many come in here first i wanted to look and there were, this is a 1600 count shoe box so 1600 cards come in here and what do i see right here on the top some nice old vintage um herb plus p-l-e-w-s so pretty cool this one's got some spooge or something on it. Milt Bowling, B-O-L-L-I-N-G. B -O -L -L -I -N -G. Washington Senators as well. And then we got this old Bowman of McDermott. First name, Maurice McDermott. It's a little rough on the back. Something kind of hit it right there and split the card. But it's a nice old vintage card. Nothing great, but that caught my eye. And I'm like, mm, yeah, yeah. what else is in this box? Probably nothing else in this box like that. Um, Fleer Ultras, Fleer Ultras. Some, um, I guess these are uh, pinnacles. No, they're tops. Jim Edmonds. <clears throat> some upper deck. Maybe there's a Jeter in it. Oh, but there's certainly some salmon checklists. Where they come from in this area. Oh, I see some smaller Gypsy Queens, too. Everyone's favorite, 91 Fleer Ultra. There's our Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. Not bad. Oh, 
they were nice enough to put all the expos together here. Adrian Beltre, Chuck Knobloch, uh, Eric Hinsky, Juan Gonzalez. Well, guess what? I got a Juan Gonzalez stack right there, so I'll put him with the Juan Guns. Kerry Wood. Juan Uribe. Maybe related to Jose. Who knows? Uh, Adam Kennedy. Jim Bunning, old school, on a new card. Edgar Martinez. Hall of Famer. Thank you. Goes in the Hall of Famer file. Eric Chavez. Tory Hunter. Javi Lopez, JT Snow, Rondell White, Adam Dunn, Bartolo Colon, and some more upper decks there. But we did pull down some salmons, even though they're checklist cards. They'll go in the salmon pile that I started. Beltre. Um, I, 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 I do do trades and stuff. I traded with some guys before. Um, that's not a big deal, but, um, I'm a set collector. So I like to put the sets together first before I, you know, get rid of anything. So Desmond got twice two of him, uh, Niger Morgan. And look at there, Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. I don't know if something happened to the top of this card. It's a different color, like a someone got a thumbprint on it when it was wet. The ink was wet or something. I don't know. It's got some printing on there, like Phillies or something. It says really hard to see, but it's printed right there. It says Phillies, something Phillies, like another card laid on top of it at the factory or something. Cool cards. Don't see many of those. At least I don't. I don't. I don't get like a whole bunch of new stuff. Oh, let's see. It's awesome. So here's a Will Clark. Got a little ding on the corner. Put him in the Will Clark pile. Oh, look, another Will Clark. Some more ninety-one Flare Ultras. <clears throat> Will Clark, one of the 10 card, gold card inserts. Will the Thrill. Let's put them there. Bobby Bo, another Will Clark. Goes in the Clark pile. Van Landingham. McGee, Williams, David Martinez, Will Clark, and then Barry Bonds. Is that a gold signature or silver? Hard to tell with the lighting in here. Looks like a gold signature, but I could be wrong. I have to get a gold signature and look at it. That goes on the Bonds pile. That's a collection. Bartello isn't isn't a fan favorite. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I mean, some people like him. Schilling rookie. Um, I don't have. Sh I'm, I'm sure I have a Schilling rookie. There's a, a small pile of Schillings I've come across so far. I mean. This is probably a rookie card here. Yeah. Or he was up once before. Uh, do three losses. First time up with the Orioles. Second time up, he had one loss. No wins. He wasn't very good with Baltimore. And this is probably a rookie card too. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I have some showing rookie cards. That mini Gypsy Queen card. Oops. <clears throat> 
What about the mini gypsy queen? Oh, the the one with the printing thing on. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. I'll have to get a magnifying glass and actually check it. It's not like it's a, a error card, error card. I do have some. Oh, there's another Will Clark. I do have um, another Will Clark. Ooh, I've been working on this set here, guys. Chief Myers. I got a like one of the few binders I have is of the uh, Conlon uh, collection. And actually, Junk Wax Girl. Um, that's a collector collection for the era. Anyways. Um, Junk Wax Girl um, and I are going to do some trading of these cards because she expressed how she likes, on one of her videos, I, she said how she likes the, the old photographs and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool. I mean, oh, look, this is a... 13th National. So this is goes in the error binder. It's from the 13th National card show, I guess. It's got a special stamp on the back. Well, that'll go in the, the, uh, the uh, not so much, I mean, the error binder is combined with the, um, there's a Larry Walker, combined with um, Gilkey. You got a Gilkey pie. There's a Clark back on a Clark pile. My block. The the error. There's a Kinseiko. Goes on to Kinseiko pile. Alamar. Oh look, a salmon. A fish got out of the box. Galarraga, Clark, Bennis, Hunter, Johnson, Lawyer, Joe Carter. Goes on the Carter pile. Johnson, Arabu. And some more of those. Uh, hey, Joe, how's it going? I think I have some of those cards. I'm glad to give those cards away. Those old card reprints. <clears throat> you mean the... These 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 Conlon cards. I've been, I I've started putting binder together. There's several thousand of those in the in the sets that they produced over the years. The numbers just keep going. They don't start with a new year and number one again. They start where they left off. And there's a couple thousand of them in the set so far. Um, that if you were to put them together, oh, looks like I got a bunch of score here now. Don't expect to find anyone of any real importance. Oh, and then there's the Maddox. So there's a Hall of Famer. Tim Raines. Andre Dawson. Of course, their only score. Oh, Trammell got all boogered up. Let's see what else we got in here. I've also been working on the 93 and 92 tops gold sets, trying to put those sets together. I've gotten pretty far um, on the 93 set. I think I've already got like two complete sets of 92 gold. Um, but I have to find where I put them. And I'm working on a third one. There's Pudge, but he's got a little crease or something in it, like he was laying over a card, and then someone put something on top of him. You can see it right there. He's got a very small, can't see it on the back, only on the front. Todd Van Poople. Hey, Rob G., how's it going? Hold on, Joe. I thought I gave you a moderator before. All right, Joe, you got moderator. So feel free to link your channel. 
There was Topps Black Gold also, a little harder to find maybe. Actually, I, I, I bought so many of those and I pulled so many of the mail-ins that I was able to get a several, like a couple complete sets of those. Uh, the A, the B, the C, the D, the AB, the CD, and the ABCD cards for both 92 and 93. Mostly 92 because I was I was just like raking in the 92s. That's when, you know, cards were a little bit cheaper. Tony La Russa, Hall of Famer. Greg Swindell. Goes in a Swindell pile. Where's that Swindell pile that I had? Oh, well, I got a Swindell pile somewhere. Bobby Witt Sr. Hey, Dirk, how you doing? I have the 93 Topps Black Gold set. Gonna send to get graded. Cool. Let us know how that turns out. Now, nah, you know what, Joe? Link your channel. And anyone who doesn't have anyone on here that's not subscribed to anyone, guys, link your channels so that, you know, you can hit each other up. Um, Rob G, you know, you all got the wrenches. And that's the purpose of the wrench. And that's the purpose. One of the purposes of this channel is to help help us grow. And the only way we can do that is, you know, promote each other. And I don't mind, you know, sharing that with you guys. Hey, yeah, there's Tom Nevers. Remember what this guy's popular, famous for, right? He was on someone's video once. Highlighted. Uh, Craig B, to be exact. Tonight he had a different highlighted card. Um, some guy with a more manly name. Tom Glavin. Oh, let's see if there's anything else in here. Their score. What's wrong with this card? Why is it all boogered up? No, it got boogered. Some stadium club. Oh, sorry, I bumped my phone, but um, Sandberg, Hall of Famer. Gary Gaietti. Oh, we got Tomei. Very nice. Very nice. Insuffic insufficient Major League data available for an accurate analysis of batting strengths and weaknesses. Well, I think we know what his strengths were. Hitting home runs. The 93 Gold Jeter is a rookie card sent to SGC to get graded as well. Nice. You got to show that to us when you get it back. That's for sure. You know, I still swear I have the the um, upper deck um, Jeter. Here's our Earl Hershiser. Oh, Oral. Who doesn't like a little Oral? Come on. Oral Hershiser. Now I know I had a stack of Hershizers. Where you at? Well, these we're in I put these over here. They're not they belong in the Hall of Fame stack. Anyway. Oh there's Hershizers. Hershizer stack. But, oh, there's the, the swing downs. All right, back to this. Uh, there's some paper loss on that one. Kirby pocket with paper loss. Oops. And looks 
like we got just a bunch of uh, leaf cards. How about some bagwells? Got three bagwells. Nice. Ricky bonus. And someone dropped a double play ball. Probably Thompson. 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 Keep bumping my phone. So, yeah, unfortunately, there were no other old cards in this box. Maybe that was the the uh, the whole wow factor thing that they wanted to give me. And when I took the lid off, I, these old these old cards were just kind of laying on top of the box, like ooh, check me out, check me out. But that's it. Here's a checklist card with Bonds, Williams, and Clark on. Clark Bonds and Williams on a different checklist card. Very nice. Uh, Dante Powell. Cream of the Crop update from Classic. Never heard of you. These are the Stadium Club team set. Giants. There you go. Who's this? Lastings Millage. It's a newer card. Lastings Millage. Dimitri Young, Nuke Logan, okay, Nuke, Cliff Floyd, Shane Andrews, Rondell White, Tim Wallach, <clears throat> if you have the 93 SP Jeter, you're lucky, I think I, I have two. I think I have two, and I can't find them though. Like, if I would have kept all my cards in binders, it would have been in a binder. Um, I took everything out of binders, and I can't find it. And until just recently, I I, I didn't want to keep any of my cards in binders. Um, you know, um, just because of the chance of damaging the corners or getting stuck in there. Because some of the old uh, binder pages had that PVC in it or whatnot. There's some more Bagwells. That's like five different Bagwells or five Bagwell cards. Sean Hill. Nuke Logan again. Chad Cordero. Michael Daniel. Dennis Martinez. Dan Smith. Jock Jones, Benji Molina, Raphael Palmero, Red Shane Deese. Well, Red's a Hall of Famer. Carl Crawford. There's a puzzle pieces. So, of uh, Barry Bonds. So, Flair checklist. Put them together. You get a Bonds puzzle. Okay. Cirillo, Bautista, Ramon Martinez, Aaron Boone. couple never heard of your relics yeah um art asked me tonight too if i was interested in relic cards and autograph cards and i'm like um not me personally because usually they are nobodies there's another canseco for toronto number 44 goes on the canseco pile we see salute uh but my boss has nine thousand plus autographs mcgriff in his collection and he does um Juan Gonzalez, he does um, TTMs a lot. He does like 10 TTMs a day he sends out, he says. Chan Ho Park goes in the park pile. Jorge Posada, I'm a Yankee fan, so I get a Posada pile. How about Gary Sheffield goes in the Sheffield pile. Henry Rodriguez, Bernie Williams goes in the Bernie pile. Tom Goodwin, Eric Young, Jose Guion. Hey, Jason, how's it going? 
Javi Lopez. There's a little more Earl for you. Earl Hershiser. Where'd you go, Earl? There you go. Earl Pile. Uh, Mark Grace Pile. Jamie Moyer. Here's um, Greg Bolazinski and Baby Bull. Oh, what's the 1980 tops doing in here? Lance Parrish. And Diamond Kings of Roberto Alomar. More classic cards. Travis Fryman, Studio. Travis Fryman, Upper De uh, Stadium Club, All Star. A lot of Planteers. Marquise Grissoms. Go Planteer again. Uh, Jim Layritz there, I believe. Planteers, 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 Planteers. What a bust. Vince Coleman. There's uh, Mike Messina. And another Roberto Alomar. Hall of Fame pile. Mark Lemke. Hope you get them soon sooner rob psa is brutal on delays yeah dude i i know i did they were brutal before this whole pandemic thing and now i, I just can't imagine like it took literally four months for me to get my uh submissions back and this was like a year and a half almost two years ago Brett Boone, Craig Jeffries, Jeff Cirillo, Devon White. Here's a Carlos Delgado. Nice. I don't think I don't think I have that card. Like guys, I have well over two million cards now, and I've said this before in other videos, and still don't have them all. Like I don't have them all. Like obviously, you're not gonna have. Stuff from the from the 30s and 40s and 20s and teens and aughts, whatever. But like stuff like this, you know, I don't even have all of this Bowman set here, and that's a pretty nice Delgado card for sure. Set him off to the side. Vaughn Wilson, me, Kevin Brown. I think I have a brown pile going somewhere. Ricky Otero. Otero used to be a Philly, didn't he? <clears throat> Wayne Gomes. There's another Chan Ho Park. Goes on the park pile. Carter goes on the Carter pile. Renteria. Another park for the park pile. Chuck Carr. Wilson Alvarez, Eric Keros, Dean Palmer, Devon White, Chili Davis, Kevin Ori. There's another Bartolo. That's a skinny Bartolo there. That's got to be earlier in his career, too. What's it say? It just gives 94 totals and, yeah, career totals. So it's probably a second year card. But he's 13 and 5 on his career, so. <laughs> He's a gappy tooth. He got a gold tooth. He must have been a hockey player in the previous career. Getting his teeth knocked out. Ray Ordonez. Jason Ryan. Bichette. And Saberhagen. It is a nice Delgado. All right. I don't think we're going to go through this whole box, guys, because it looks like a lot of score in here. Like, literally, 150 score, another 100, 100 plus of the 92 tops, another 100 plus of the Dunruss, and then over here is more Dunruss. Yeah. A ton of Dunruss. Like, Leaf Dunruss. But here's a... 
flare from what year are these? 95 flare. Oh, look at that nice Tome. Beautiful. Hall of Fame pile there. <clears throat> Red key. Jim Edmonds, Terry Steinbach, is that Ron Beck? No, nope. Doug Jones. That's a Alex Gonzalez. I think I got a Gonzalez pile. Mike Stanley, Mickey Tettleton, and then we got some upper deck again. David Need. Why? Well, at least he's bunting. He's not swinging away. And he's actually hitting, he's actually making contact with the ball. So, good training. It won't stay focused, but. I've heard they have good prices, plus the black border makes the card stick out. Cologne rookie. There you go. Yeah. Skinny Bartolo, that's for sure. Oh, there's a Justice. And the ball's coming off the bat already, so he's made good contact with the bat flexing. A lot of these big guys, you see the bats flexing when they hit the ball. This is after. Usually when they're making contact, it's the barrel's way back here. Justice Pile. Pat Lipstash. Van Slyke. Kind of a smaller move on. The one white. Dante Bichette again. Another Dante. There's a Stadium Club Joe Carter. There's Dion going all out at Wrigley. You see the uh, Ivy in the background. He's tracking one down. He's getting it all stretched out. Very nice for the Dion pile. David Cohn, and he's not bunting. He is serious. cards in there too but um I want to show you guys some of the the latest errors that are gonna go in the binder that I found. So errors All right, some of the latest errors, and I found I found a few of these in, already in the past. So let's do this. Let's put these, put the lid back on here. We have a stable platform. So more Mike Heath cards um, with the with the Tom Brookins back again. So I found more of them. I found three more of these too. The outlighter error. It's actually some other guy. Some other guy's pitcher. Outlighter's turned a little bit more this way. You can see the NY on his on his uniform jersey and stuff. Um, I don't know if I showed this before. This is a um, promo card, Kerry Wood. Uh, promo card. 
of Mr. Dave Justice. Very nice. A sample of Will Clark blowing a bubble. 94 Sport Flicks. Uh, Matt Williams. Um, this is a promo card. You can see usually the colors, the difference here, and sometimes the pictures are zoomed in or zoomed out more for the final for the final um, photo. But it also says pre-production sample. This is a Nolan Ryan. This is a limited um, like promo set card. The the card for this year is a different photo. Um, the back is the same. But you can see this is card 25 of a 26 card, like promo set. And this Nolan Ryan um, promo card. So those have to go into the binder now that I've showed them for show. And that'll be that. But I've got to find out where I put that binder. This, this room is like a glacier, and everything moves every so often. It's like it just slowly creeps along, and things get um, moved. So, let me do some work here. So, so today was laundry day. That binder is somewhere. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys up for that. I will show you this. Um, so when I said I was working on the um, 93 tops... I actually, I think they're actually, yeah. Uh, I think they're, yeah, it says 93. Yep, 93. So, but anyway. Here's some here that I ran out of room to go into this box. So I got to find a bigger box. It's a nice old box I got. Um, from one of my uh, bulk purchases, it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I've never seen these like anywhere else. And inside, oh crap! I just dropped all them. Inside, I'm gonna put this with the promo cards now. Is the actually 900 cards. 900 gold cards that I've been slowly, you know, not the complete set, but every one that I found so far, I've got over 900 um, of these. So I'm trying, I'm working on putting this set together. Um, and that'd be nice to get that together and then box it up. And then I just box them up and I seal them, I identify them. And then I just seal the box, and that's it. It's done. Did you find those vintage cards in there? Yeah, these these old cards were in that that box right here that I opened up. That's why I brought it up. I'm like, ooh, maybe there's something more in here. Um, these cards were in there, and it's hard to see because of the glare. I got to get better lighting. Now, this does have some dirt on it or something. So, but still, I mean, if it wasn't messed up, the corners are not all that bad. They're boogered up, but they're old. It's an old card. Um, this guy is, but it got a little split right here. So the card got a split on the back. But still a nice card. This one's pretty nice. Washington Senators. All three of them are Washington Senators. 
players. So maybe the person who had these was a you know Senators fan before they moved to Montreal. And, or no, they moved to Texas. The Senators moved to Texas, became the Rangers. The Expos moved to Washington, they become the Senators. And that's how it goes. Um, so um, I don't know what else you guys want to do or what you're interested in seeing, but um, that's about it. I've got so much. Um, I've already shot a couple of videos that I haven't even posted yet of other other things that I have opened up. So they'll be going up this week. Um, so any questions, comments? Did you find me? I got that one. Uh, no free market this weekend. No, Rob. My um, my wife is on lockdown. She had her COVID test. She's got surgery scheduled for um, Tuesday. So I couldn't risk going out and getting exposed and then exposing her. Um, you know, uh, it's just the way it is. Um, and that and the fact that I spoke two weeks ago. Two weekends ago, I actually for the Saturday and Sunday flea markets, I dropped like four hundred bucks on the flea market, which is way above my my budget. It's usually like a hundred bucks, and and I would have spent more if I, um, you know, if I had it. But I have enough willpower to <laughs> reel it back in. You know, that one guy had a. I did, I don't think I got it on the video, uh, but. One guy had a whole bunch of vintage, like when I say vintage, it's 1970s cards, like all the years from the 70s. And he had them broken down into those, you know, those bulk, you know, couple thousand card mailers that you get from the post office. He had them just lined up like a uh, minimum of thousand of each cards from 78, 79, 77, 75. So he had a bunch of them, but they all appeared to be commons and he wanted a buck a piece and he wasn't budging, you know. Um, I talked to him more and then I finally got him down to come on, like, dude, they're all commons and whatever. And he goes, well, uh, I'll, like $300 a box. I'm like, holy shit, $300 a box. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I can't, I'm, I'm not willing to do that. I mean, you're a flea market, dude. You'd be selling them for like 10 cents a card, but he wasn't. So he, I'm sure he didn't sell them. He's still carrying them around. Um, but again, I didn't go. Um, the last two weekends I haven't been to the flea markets to do any live um, and now I have to wait till my wife gets all done with her stuff and then I can go back at it um, full bore that's it Winfield uh, la, 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 la. so I am putting I am putting like boxes together because I know certain guys like certain players so um, someone said something about Kevin Brown cards. So I started a box for Kevin Brown cards, and um, I get to add these to the box now. So far, I didn't finish that one box that I was sorting, but I'll just put them in the Kevin Brown box. And once I get, you know, enough, you know, then I'll trade or whatever. Um, I did come across this box and this. Uh, appears to be now the seal's broken, so I had to go through it. But it appears that the whole set is there from this Fleer set, <clears throat> which is nice. Um, Tim Salmon box, you know, it's like pretty full of salmon cards, and you know, just adding these here salmons to the box tonight. And then um, we know Truth likes Dave Justice, so I've been rounding up a whole bunch of Justice cards. And I actually need another box because this Justice box is full. So, and if I say, I even got your name on there. Truth be told. So I haven't forgotten about you guys who who expressed interest in, in players. I don't think anyone did a, did a Nomar request, 
Uh, but I just started grabbing Nomars and I already filled up the box full of Nomar Garcia Paras. Um, you know, these are 800, 800 count boxes. I filled them up in like really no time. And I, I figure I'm going to have um, 4,000 or 5,000 of each card. It's ridiculous. Um, if I were to go ahead and put them all together, there's going to be over 5,000 of each card. So now what's in here? So this appears to be a complete set here of 88 tops. I don't have any notes in here to tell me if there's anything missing. So maybe I haven't gone through it yet. But this appears to be a complete hand collated set. Which is cool. It says 88 tops on it. But um, I can't, can't go by that because I found some that were actually missing. And this guy who even put it here, he put it checked. It says complete set, right? And then it says, uh, okay, checked October 23rd, 1988. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's a complete set or not because I haven't really gone through it yet. And sometimes that's how I get boxes. I get boxes that are like that. I hope everything goes well with the surgery. Wish you the best for your wife. I'm saying, yep, thanks, uh, Jay. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure it'll be okay. It's, it's, uh, she's having cataract surgery, so um, she, both her eyes. She can't hardly see. She can't see to drive. Um, so I'm driving her everywhere, and um, we're going to get that corrected, and she'll be able to drive again. She'll be able to see. She will have to wear glasses to do reading and stuff like that, but all in all, um, should turn out well. Confidence is high. The doctor seems to be pretty confident. Um, you know. So. Other than that. Here's some A-Rod cards I stumbled across. In some of my boxes. A-Rod rookie card. And an old plastic snap together. A pinnacle. And a Dunross rated rookie card. Um, and that's about it. How was everyone else's weekend? Y'all have good weekends? What else you guys want to see? I already opened up those 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 uh, tops. You know, I was gonna do a video um, the other day on these. I'll do these on video, but what the heck. Uh, we've got nine people here. I don't want to disappoint anyone. So I got some Bowman. Um, 89 Bowman. So I've got this box of rack packs. Um, boom. So we'll do two rack packs. You know who we're looking for, right? Yeah. Junior. The Junior... Rookie card. Um, I bought this at a card show along like last year sometime. Paid twenty bucks for the box, but these are the jumbos. So we'll do two of those, and then these are just wax, and we'll do a couple wax. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that. Also, guys, I'm still I'm still um, working on selling this break. Um, I want to try to do at least like one a month, and um, no one's. I haven't got any feedback on it. I don't know, like what the what the, uh, the dealio is or what the problem is, but I haven't got any feedback on it really. Um, but it's. Um, 89 Fleer. Now these are these are um, cello packs. This came from, according to the seller, this came from a uh, uh, the production line number. This came from a case that had had the F face card in it. All right, and these were going to be uh, like 12 
per pack. Just selling them by pet per pack. Um, I got over here. Hold on, the prices. So these were. Uh, la, 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 la. Where's it at? These were going to be twelve dollars, twelve dollars a pack, but that includes the shipping. All right. Um, this box here, and th these have been sealed up since the minute they got in my front door. I taped them all shut so that there's no no access to them. This came from a case that was not from the production run of the F face card, but it could be the whiteouts, the blackouts, the scribble outs, whatever could be in these. And these are seven dollars, and that includes shipping. Like shipping is usually like four bucks, guys. So you get it for three dollars a three dollars a pack. And the other one, oh, the other one is 82 Fleer, 82 Fleers, which has the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card in it. I haven't checked recently, but when I first bought this, that that Ripken uh, rookie card was going for anywhere between 12 and 1400 bucks in a Gem Mint 10. Again, this is still wrapped up in the original bubble wrap that came from the the seller. All I did was taped around it to secure it so that, you know, nothing, no funny work's been going on. It's still, you know, sealed it the way it came from me. These are cello packs as well. Um, and these were $15.50 um, a pack. And there's 28 cards in a pack. And that includes shipping as well. So if anyone's interested in that, my email is um, on the about tab of my um, my homepage there on YouTube. Hey, Dirk, how's it going? If I had a F face, have had a F face card since that year in a holder, always smile when I see it. Total inside job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows, right? All right, so let's get to opening these up. Um, again, we're looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. That gum is. Almost obliterated, not quite. I've had worse. And so, we'll start out. Why not? Look at that. If, can you imagine if you, what would you do if that was like the real deal there? Nice. Ted Williams, Hall of Famer. Hey, okay. Pudge Fisk, Hall of Famer. Dave Parker, I'd say he was a fan favorite. I count him as a fan favorite. Where's my Parker pile? Got moved over there. It is. And that's pack number one down. Pack number two. Got a satchel page um, reprint. Hall of Famer. David Cohn. Oh, there's a Big Mac card. Very nice. We'll put him with the Big Macs. We don't have, didn't have a whole bunch out of that box so far, but um, what we had from Big Mac. So far. Those were the Big Macs. Bob Boone and the Alamars. Sandy, Sandy Jr. and Roberto. And we got from over there for Roberto, Hall of Famer. All right. What do you guys want to open next? The, the fat packs here, the jumbos, or the racks? Yeah, right. I know. We want that. The fat packs. Okay. Fat packs it is.
Fernando Mania. Flip. There you go. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. page again. Well, that was a dud of a pack, for sure. Alright, jumbo number two. Oi. Jumbo number two. Here we go. Dempsey, geez. We saw a lot of these cards, didn't we? Just in the last pack. Flip. We got a Carter. Fan favorite. But that was a duddy. Oh, another Ted Williams. Well, Ted saved it. Thanks, Alex, for, for posting that for me. I, I don't go out and advertise my Patreon thing, but... Oh, and this one here's got a... Was this Gil Hodges? Right on the front. Oh, two Gil Hodges. I don't know if they want to do them back to back. Yeah, it don't matter. Got Chris Sable on the back. And Kelly Gruber. Along with Julio Franco. All right. Don't laugh at my scissors. They're old, but they're rusty. My boss usually has silly things I've got to say. I have my daughter-in-law making me up logos like this, and we're going to put them on T-shirts. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be wearing those on my show. Kind of a spin-off from what Donald Blumdahl does on his channel, where he has, like, special shirts that he highlights during his, his show. Like, usually his favorite team, which is Seattle. The Mariners. But... I figured I'd go a little bit different route and do the uh, do the wrappers on the cards that we all love to collect. Gil Hodges. There you go. Cal Ripken, Jr. Oh, card number nine in the set. It should have been card number eight in the set. What's wrong with you, Bowman? Another Joe Carter. Uh-huh. Checklists. Chris Sabo. That goes in the Sabo pile. Brady Anderson. Two Carters in one pack. And there are probably other repeats in there too. So, we've got three of the same Carter card. And these so far let's just see what this other one brings us Alex you got that last thing of hockey cards I sent you right I gotta send some hockey cards to Tex <clears throat> he likes hockey too. He always showing hockey cards on his channel. 
All right. Well, we got Gil Hodges again. We got another checklist. We have a off, slightly off-centered Schmoltz, but it's Hall of Famer Schmoltz. Saber Hagen. Checklist. Oh, there we go. We got Nolan Ryan off-center, but it's a Ryan, so that kind of helps save the pack. We've got two Hall of Famers out of this one. David Cohn. There's a Big Mac. That's our second Big Mac card out of these 89 Bowman Brick. And we got a Barry uh, Larkin, Hall of Famer. Very nice, Barry. Thanks for showing up. And Kelly Gruber. Man, you know what? We didn't get a junior. I'm a little disappointed. So, I'm gonna, I want to open some more for you. And see what we can get. These packs were not 67 cents a pack at one point. up gum again all right come on where's our junior i don't know what the precursor is for him there's a uh, ed duke schneider how about a dale murphy very nice murph card he goes in the murphy pile jamie moyer all right, we're getting quite a stack of 89 Bowmans here, but gum looks kind of edible, but I'm not going to eat it. Ah, we got a mantle card. Even though it's a reprint, it's still a nice card. Hall of Famer. So what do you guys think? There's a, a Mattingly card. You think there's going to be a national this year with... Um, the way things are opening up. There's a Robbie Alomar. Doc Gooden. And George Brett, Hall of Famer. Yeah, I'm a mantle guy. Where's my mantle? Here it is. There's a mantle. Picked this up for like a buck at the flea market uh, last year. It's just plastic but i saw it and i'm like dude how much for that i want that he said give me a buck i'm like sold pretty cool matter of fact i put that on my banner but when i did my banner it chopped the mixed head off so i got to redo my banner i really liked it because i laid out all those packs and tried to make it look nice ac needs it badly they will try to keep it if possible how do you know, Dirk? Where do you live? Well, some of you live in Atlantic City. There, Dirk, you got the wrench. Go ahead and list your uh, list your YouTube channel there for everyone who hasn't subbed you up, um, so that you're there often. Still work there a lot. In Atlantic City, like what do you do? Construction work, or I know they for a while they were building a lot of stuff down there. I live I live about forty miles from Atlantic City, inland. Oh look, we got the same mantle card again. I'm not gonna complain about that. But yeah, I'm in Williamstown. I'm up the, I'm up the AC Expressway. How about a Greg Maddox? Goes in the Hall of Fame pile. Well, we're getting plenty of Hall of Famers. We're just not getting um, 
the one we want, the junior card. All right, here we go. Mark McGuire, another McGuire card. Why not, right? Hey, the other mantle. So there's two diff. There's two mantle cards that are reprints that are part of this set, and we got the second one. I think there's only two mantle cards. There might be three, but I think there's only two. Maguire. Okay. I'm like, wait, do we have two Maguires in the same pack? So that's our third Maguire. We've got three Carters. We've got three Maguires. And a Robin Yount finishes off that pack. Oh, I'm I'm like the, the what's the Williamstown exit? I don't know what exit is. Uh, twenty eight or thirty eight, something like that. As you're heading inland. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh maybe it's thirty six or twenty six. I don't. I'm not sure, but because uh, I don't come that way that often, and I think it's a different number if you're going down. But anyway, I don't pay attention to it. I just get off of it when I drive it. You know, but it's about forty miles from Atlantic City. Uh, we don't go to Atlantic City that often, only because you know it's just the water there, the beach, the water is brown, and it's just not. You're tempting the wood Midwest, but heading out your way tomorrow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I work in Philly, so um, I'll be at work again tomorrow. That's just the way it goes. Got to work, pay the bills, and buy these cards. All right, let's put that back. He's all back. <clears throat> this back. And this one. <clears throat> well, guys, I'm, I'm tempted. I, I bought these the other day. Yeah, you got to work to buy packs, that's for sure. Um, so let's open up a couple of these. The box was a little damaged coming in, which kind of stinks. I like to preserve the uh, the boxes and everything too, but it is what it is. These are some 88 Opeaches. I bought um, two boxes of these. It was like 120 bucks with shipping and all that. But it is what it is. I mean, prices are what the prices are right now. Uh, you know, last year at this time, I probably got them for like. You know, well, who knows, 60, 70 bucks shipped. But anyway, so the real one, OPG, 1988, Major League Baseball. Uh, I don't know why they list, I guess that's the grams of sugar, four grams of bubblegum in there. And doesn't say how many cards are in a pack. Usually six or seven. I bought. I got some eighty-seven, um, eighty-seven OPGs, and the gum and everything was just terribly stuck to the cards. And these are going to be stuck to the faces of the cards. I mean, it's Juan Nieves, so it's no great loss. But like I said, I'm a set collector, so to put a set together, this might be the one card that that. I need and this gum is not giving it up. So we're gonna go with Joe Hesketh, RJ Reynolds, Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer, Bob Boom right there. Ricky there's the back guys by the way. Cool backs. A little bit different color, it's more orangish. Hall of Famer. Goes in the Hall of Fame pile. Dick Schofield. Dan Quisenberry. Goes in the quiz pile. I do have some quiz and berries.
All right, not bad. OPGs, we're going to put them right there. They'll just go in that box cause for now. Sort them out later. So just like the 87 tops, we're probably going to lose one card per pack to the gum god. The baseball gum gods, because he just does not want to give it up. He is fighting me tooth and nail. Hasn't gone through, but might as well have. There's Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer. Very nice. Very off-center cut, though. Rick Sutcliffe and Carlton Fisk. Even worse centering on the Carlton Fisk. And the Opeachy sets were smaller sets. I don't think they produced as many cards to complete the sets. Hey, NCJ Sports. Jim Stakes at 400 South Street and waiting in line. Overheard two people talking about your channel. Wasn't expecting that. Really? That's interesting. I wonder who they were. Um, here you go. Didn't you find, didn't you pull the the um, the no name out of a pack, right? That was you, right? Oh, yeah. Backstory to go with it, however. Okay. Well, give us the backstory. Again, we lost to Bruce Hurst. Hey, I got the gum off of one piece. I am not eating that. That just looks like it's got the chicken pox or measles. It's got pink dots on it. Come on. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, my goodness. Just like the 87s. Charlie Huff, Rob Deere. Hey, Gary Carter, off center. Just like the 87 case that I bought. I bought a case of 87 OPGs. And 22 or 24 Barry Bonds cards I pulled out of there. All of them are off center. It was a little disappointing. Disappointing. Got backstory time. We're waiting. I tried looking again tonight. Came up empty again. Who did we lose this time? Tony Bernazard. Yeah, this gum is just brutal. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Sounds like bones cracking. Ugh. Friend work and shipping receiving from 88 to 2006. I used to buy a few wax boxes in December of that year. Ah, he works up at the Tops factory. Nice. Very nice. That's the job you wanted to have back then, even though it probably paid very little hourly. If you were into cards, I'd work, I'd have been working for cards. I'd have never had any money in my pocket. I had baseball cards, though. Absolutely nobody in that one. Charlie Kerfeld, I guess, is the guy for that pack. Okay, the rest of the story. And you got them off of him at a discounted rate, I would think. They weren't expensive back then. They were like 10 or $12 a box, probably. 13 I remember buying boxes off the grocery store counter for like $12 a box, you know. 
and that was for you know 36 packs and i remember also going to the kmarts and buying like the 91 or 92 upper decks boxes for like the price of a pack Philadelphia and Michigan. Okay. That's the story. Now we know. We knew about the Michigan. We didn't know. I didn't know about the Philadelphia one. Interesting. So there's hope for us if we kind of, because we're, I'm, I'm in the area. I'm in the Philly area. So those boxes can be floating around in my area. Interesting. So I got to look for local sellers. I do have one. I do have one, guys, um, that half the name is missing for some reason. I don't, I, And it's in a box somewhere um, that I bought a lot off a guy. I bought like three or 400,000 cards off of this one guy. I bought like a ton, like his, almost his whole collection. And as I was going through that stuff, I saw the one that had uh, half the, the name missing off the front. And I'm like, really? Recolation, yeah. Still, you never know. I mean, you, you, it's like the lottery. You can't win if you don't play the game, so... You buy the boxes when the price is right, and, and John knows all about the prices being right and stuff and not overpaying for stuff. And he and I were buying these, you know, boxes a year or so ago when they were a lot cheaper than what they are today. Uh, some other licensing issue, really. Um, wasn't there a trademark with a Mattingly one? So you learned something new today, guys. I learned something new. Dirk learned something new today, too. That's good. Always interesting to, uh, you know, get. Um, and now the rest of the story. That was Paul Harvey's little thing. I don't know if you guys are too young to remember who Paul Harvey was, but he was like a radio, a radio guy. There you go. Jay learned something new today, too. So, very interesting. Paul Harvey? Yeah, yeah. I, I used to listen to him. And now the rest of the story. And once he said that, you had to hang around to get the rest of the story. I mean, that was his, that was the hook that got you, you know, to, to stick around. Right. No, no one cared about the 414 card. You're right. Rick, oh, yeah. Rick Shue. Uh-huh, Shuey. I have not seen that one either. Interesting. You know, I just recently found that Frank Thomas, um, 1990 um, Bowman, with the Dan Gladden back on it. That's in my, uh, my error binder. So I got to go through all my cards and not only check, like, the fronts, of the 90 tops, but the, the backs of the 90 Bowmans for the error with the wrong backs. I don't know how prevalent that one is either, but yeah, it took, uh, I did some research. Um, it took seven or eight years before that card, the, the 90 tops was even listed in a Beckett as an error card. And, and that's when the prices shot up. It took, you know that long seven eight years nine years before the the community caught on to it and then it just took off so what else yeah so you know peachy was eh. i guess that's what you gotta look out for Oh, peachy cards. I bought two different ones and they all stuck. I've already did the video about the, the um, what you call it, on, on the um, 
87, was it 87 tops? The rack packs. Yeah. Finding the uh, McGuire card anyway. What the precursor was for that. I think it was McGuire. Anyway, that was my last video. Um, you know what? Since I'm still opening stuff and we... People are still here hanging out. Interest. Let's see if we can find any of the 1990 Bowman. Um... Frank Thomas error back. All that. Open up two of those. And then tomorrow, maybe I'll do some videos of, uh, I don't know if I'll do live, but videos of some of the cards I bought tonight. Now, Art told me, you know, he, he's all worn out because he picked up like 300,000 card lot tonight. And he'll have that ready for me soon. He has he goes through and he separates the baseball, uh, football, hockey, basketball, whatever. And he sells me because all I'm interested in is the baseball. Um, so he sells me the baseball. And I, I would assume he has a buyer for the other sports, hockey, football, basketball. He did ask me once before um, if I was interested in the other sports. And I said, uh, no. I can't do all these sports. I mean, I could, but I don't. I don't have the room for them. Let's put it that way. Don't have the room. All right. So we're looking for the Frank Thomas error back with Dan Gladden here. But we'll be happy with the Frank Thomas rookie card too. Why not? Right. And then we'll shut her down after this, guys, after these these two rack packs. This is getting late, and I, I got work in the morning, and I'm sure some of you guys got work. All right, so let's see who our um, reprint card is. Bo Jackson. I'll put that in the bow pile. Oops. Real quick, here's the bow pile. So these are some of the Bo Jacksons I put found in just that one box over there, like that one 4,000 count box. There's an OPG. Classic. There's a sport flick. Mr. Bo Jackson, some star cards. And a classic yellow border, classic, I don't know, pink border. This is a, a, a homemade card or something like that. Home Run Derby, card number four. Best Hitters, Bo Jackson, 1990. And Best Hitters, Bo Jackson, 1990. What Bo again? This Bo? It's just a drawing. It's one of the, not even a reprint. It's just a drawing that someone painting that someone made. In the back, it's just one of those mail in offers. And at the sweepstakes, you probably get like a complete set of 52 Bowman or something like that. Back then, they gave away like really nice stuff. But, you know, you never win. Whoever wins, it probably never drew a winner. They just wanted you to buy their product. There's a uh, Dave Parker going on the Parker pile. The Parker pile. Pile of Parkers. All right, so we didn't get the junior in the 89. Come on, baseball card gods. Give us, give us the Frank Thomas in the 90 Bowman, please. Just one. That's all we ask for is one. We're not greedy here. Daryl Kyle, rest in peace. Oh, look, and there's a bow. With his hat, crooked, and everything. That's cool. We got the the bow 
art card, and then we got his base card in the same pack. Very nice. And that's it. So Bo Jackson was the saving grace for that pack. Who's this art card going to be? Why, that's Will the Thrill. Mr. Will Clark. Thank you very much. He goes on the Clark pile. We have a lot of Will Clark cards. About 100 so far. The last, the last boxes I ever got from Topps gave me the 297 Alex Gordon card, which violated licensing and quickly was scrubbed. A blank version has been done, but a few did make it out. I only had one. That's interesting. I, I don't even know what that what that Alex Gordon card would have been like. So it had a copyright issue, or he just didn't sign a contract for Tops to produce his card. They never paid the guy. Come on, give me somebody good here. Come on, one Hall of Famer. Okay, a near Hall of Famer. Mr. Bonds. He won't focus unless I put my whole hand up here. And maybe it'll focus on my hand. Come on. There it is. I didn't do it. Honest. Look how small my head is. Sorry, Barry. You did it. And now you, you get a whipping. Hey, there it is. All right. So. Could the precursor be Mike Boddicker? The postcursor is Willie Green. Keep that in mind. Boddicker and Green. Fingers crossed. Is this the error card? Look at the front first. Centering is appears to be off a little bit. Top, bottom, right to left. But. Oh, you got 500 bucks for it. Still regretting it? Yeah, well, never have any regrets. Ah, it's the Frank Thomas back. Still, there's the Frank Thomas card. Hall of Famer. So Mike Boddicker and Willie Green. Boddicker and Green. Where is that error binder of mine? Oh, I put it up. Put it up high, I think. Yes, no, no. Dang it. I know I put where I put you, Binder. Dang it. Wait. Wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, not there. There. Dang it. Hmm. Well, shucks. I was hoping to show you guys the Dan Gladden back, but I don't know where that binder went, where I put it. I said this, this room is like a, um, a glacier. It slowly moves. It's like it's got a mind of its own and then things disappear. And then I got to find them again. Or it just could be my memory. It could be that too. That I'm slowly losing my mind. Happens with age. But dang it. I have no idea where it is now. It's not over here. Not over there. I thought I put it up high, but I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Not there. It's kind of heavy, but it's not going to be in here. It is pretty amazing that I can lose something 
like that in this room, like just that quickly. It's ridiculous. This room has never been more organized. I guess that's the problem. Right over here. No, no, and no. Oh my goodness. Where did you go, Mr. Binder? Well, anyway, we did get the Frank Thomas, so that's good news. And history has shown that if you find one in, in a box, there's usually more. So make sure to check out. Oh, yeah, thanks, Alex. Let's open up. But we're going to go to the bottom. Let's go to the bottom. I'm going to pull two off the bottom. But history has also shown that if you if the error is not in there, then it won't be in here. So if you do find another one, it won't it won't be it won't be an error for you. That's just my experience. But let's do two more. And we will check, if we find it, we're going to double check, obviously, the collations and make sure there's a Boddicker that precedes it. Actually, there's two. Does anyone remember how one got the Bush card in 1990? Um, no. I don't know if it came out of random packs or the Bush mantle card, you mean? Or just like a regular Bush card. I think it was, what, 2006 tops? I'm not an expert. 2002 tops. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Um, the one I got, I I bought off of eBay. There's, I just um, saw John was talking about it on his channel, and I'm like, okay, let me check it out. And then I just decided to buy it because you can't get packs. Like boxes are super duper expensive, and basically I just wanted the card. So, I went that route, the quick route, the shore route. Can't remember how people got the bush card pack. Bugs me. Tops won't answer any questions about 90 products at all. <laughs> Probably no one works there anymore from 90. All right, so we got, um, is that Greg Olson? Lou Whitaker. Back-to-back -back Mets. We do have uh, Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. With the Giants. Sorry, the cards are off the screen. Sorry about that. Here we go. Oh, look. We got the Olsen Olsen. Just like the Jackson Jackson. How about a Maurice Vaughn? Before it became just Mo. He was Maurice. Rookie card. Raphael Palmero. Mark Grace. I almost didn't recognize him there. The way he's holding that bat. It's terrible form. We'll, we'll put you in the Grace pile. The bow with the tipped hat. Tippy hat bow. Whoop. That's our second bow. Flippy flip. Uh oh, this is a repeat of the pack. Are we going to get another? No, 
now they all of a sudden they just changed. It was a couple of cards, and then they changed again on us. Nope. I thought we were going to get another one, another Thomas card. Because, let's see where everything went wrong. So then was the Thomas card. Yeah. Oh, well. We're looking for Mike Boddicker. That's the guy. Let's see if Boddicker is the precursor. Got a Donnie Baseball. So maybe we're going to get a Donnie Baseball base card in here. We're about to find out. Joe Carter on the Carter pile. Steve Avery. Big Ben. Eddie Murray. Hall of Famer. Focus on Eddie, please. There we go. Nice. Bert by 11. He TTMs. But he charges like 20 bucks an autograph per card like. And Will the Thrill. So there we go. We did get the Donnie Baseball. But that's all right. I can't remember how many people have the Bush card. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be it, guys. I got to clean up this mess. But I want to thank you all for stopping by and hanging out. Um, hey, Cornette, didn't even see you come in. Oh, let's see, you got a mess here. Anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to head over to the, to the, um, computer here. All right, so there are certain guys that, that, um, obviously want to trade for different cards and stuff like that if you have like a special player i know alex likes um toronto blue jays and, and hockey cards so i i can kind of filter him the hockey cards that i come across from time to time i still have little bags made up for for alex um of hockey cards like little team bags made up and i think i made up some baseball for you too. So, like Blue Jays. So I know you like Blue Jays if you still have Alex. Um, but um, here's my email. That's my email. Um, if you guys want to email me about any other questions or anything like that? Um, I know some guy said to me that he would take all vintage tiger cards that I come across in the flea markets and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I kind of keep my eye out for that. And then like, I don't remember all names and stuff unless I write it down. And I, that one I didn't write down. Um, but I do have some guys stuff written down. Uh, some guys wanted to buy those, um, Posters off of me, not posters, but the team, the team signs. Um, truth be told, was interested in this, so um, I will email these guys with you know prices and stuff like that. With the cost of mailing, Central Valley Cards wanted these two in here, the Indians and the Padres, um, and those are those are little signs that from the 70s maybe mid to late 70s i'm not sure exactly but i had some as a kid these i ha happened to pick up at flea market uh, a couple weeks ago and i was doing a live stream and people expressed interest in them so i bought the whole stack for like 30 bucks um he tried charging me three three bucks each for them
excuse me, I needed a drink. But drop me a line if there's anything you guys are interested in trading for or whatever. Cards and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, Alex, thanks for putting up my 1,000 uh, subscriber giveaway. We're getting close to that, guys. We're at like 800 and, 800 and, um, twenty-nine. So, yeah, we're getting there. Um, 829. It's been a long grind, guys. It's been like two years in the making now I've been doing these videos. Not all baseball, but I've been doing... YouTube videos. I did a lot of gaming stuff first. Yeah, or 828. So maybe I, I lost someone somewhere. I thought it was at 829, but it is what it is. It fluctuates all the time. Um, we really like to get to a thousand um, by the end of summer, and then I can get rid of that huge box. Check out that video that Alex just linked. Um, if you guys haven't entered that that uh, that drawing for that giveaway and you got to meet the requirements as far as me being able to verify that you are subscribed to the channel. That's obviously because this is a, this is a big giveaway guys. This is a big giveaway. A lot of stuff. Um, my 750 subscriber giveaway was, um, um, mountain gorilla, uh, family. And so, um, yeah, he was happy. He was tickled pink. He got, you know, just check out the video. There's lots of boxes of cards being given away and stuff like that, and all kinds of other uh, little knickknack goodies and uh, all kinds of stuff. Stuff you guys have seen before in other people's channels. Um, uh, I'm giving away a lot of this stuff too, as you know, part of a thank you for everyone that uh, is subscribed to the channel. And you know, I don't want to have someone from outside just winning it, you know, I want to make sure that uh, these guys are, because I have a lot of guys that have been loyal and faithful to the channel, you know, that are here all the time. So I don't want them to lose out to someone who has just popped in and, and entered the drawing. It's not that way. We're not playing that. Uh, we're not playing that game over here. Um, so other than that, guys, any other questions, comments, bitches, gripes, moans, complaints, whatever? Don't forget to um, sub to everybody else. Check each other's channels out. Um, help everyone grow their channels. Uh, it's important, guys. You know, we all work hard at this. We all want to succeed. Uh, I, I think the the goal of every one of us is at least to get to that thousand. That thousand mark is just like like the the thing that says you've made it. You know, I've made it. I finally made it. All my work, all my effort has paid off you're not going to make a lot of money so that's that's not about the money guys you're not making money until you got like four thousand subscribers and up and then you're going to make some decent money from ad revenue uh, but then still it's not the same unless you have patreons you know donating to your channel super chats uh stuff like that which um i don't i don't advertise that i do have a patreon thing but um I don't have any Patreons, but I set up a Patreon thing with the help of Donald Blumdahl. Um, he kind of walked me through it uh, and helped me get that set up. I worked through um, uh, with John Jabs as far as trying to set up my breaks, but for some reason they're just not they're not taking off. I don't know. I guess the price is too high. I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. Um, I'm still holding on to those boxes, whether I sell them or not. That's fine. Um, it is what it is. I still make videos. I still enjoy doing this. I really like going to the flea markets. So hopefully next weekend um, we can get this get to the next flea market video for you guys to do some live flea marketing stuff again. Um, and I have not done anything on my studio, setting up my converting my garage i emptied it out almost i got the lawnmower in there it's a riding lawnmower and i gotta get that out of there it's gonna cost me about 800 bucks to get the uh, get the thing set up 600 in in, in um, materials and uh, a couple hundred bucks like i want to buy a green screen and stuff like that to have set up um, i want to put down some nice carpeting and you know it can go up to a thousand dollars 
if I get everything I want, but yeah, I mean, it's, we're not going to make any, anything, you know, we're not going to be able to support our channels with a thousand subscribers. There's just no way you can support your channel unless you have a ton of Patreons that, you know, buy into your, your, your giveaways that the stuff that you give them, you know, um, and then there's such a thing as getting too big. Unfortunately, Eric Jabs uh, felt that pain uh, at one point already. So, um, and it cost him dearly. I, I, it really cost him dearly his YouTube channel. So, you know, we got to all pay attention to our personal lives. Uh, family always comes first, uh, and everything else is secondary. Your job is should be number two in your life. Family should be number one. Job should be number two. If you're a religious person, then maybe God is number one, family number two, and you work because you have to support and, and your family and raise your family. Um, but my added, my theory is 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 um, I work to live. I don't live to work. In other words, I I go to work to support my family, but I don't spend too much time at my work that I neglect my family so this is this is like my second job here where i do this i do it for fun uh when i retire and i'm older than a lot of you guys when i retire this is what i want to do full time i want to be able to set out in my garage and just crank out the videos and you know have fun with it have fun with the people i want to have that green screen going in the background i've got a lot of plans a lot of ideas it's just now getting it set up and um when retirement hits Hopefully next year, but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, then the channel will really I'll be able to focus on it more. Uh, I have slowed down making videos. I used to do like one a day. Uh, but I slowed that down because studies have shown that you know one a day might be too much. Look at uh, look at um, the past is alive. Look at John. He doesn't do one a day anymore. He does a couple a week. That's it. Um, matter of fact, I didn't even see him do a weekend recap video. Maybe that'll come tomorrow. But it is what it is. Um, I'd even like to try setting up some auctions. Like he does his live auctions. Try that. I mean, I have lots of cards. I just have to get cards together that I'd be willing to auction off. Yeah, uh, currency doesn't motivate me whatsoever with cards. Well, 90% isn't money motivated. You're right. You got to have some money to to buy cards, you know, too. So uh, I think a lot of people out there understand that, and that's why they, they donate, um, you know, whether it's um, through um, Patreon or um, what's that when you when – you, you, um, send them like cash i do it to to um john a couple bucks to john for his channel to help support his channel but he's pretty much uh, his channel supports itself now um, he does the auctions just for fun and to share with you guys i um god during the winter i talked to him on the phone for like three hours i had a three-hour phone conversation with john and uh going over some stuff and talking to him about picking his brain about how he runs his channel and um, his breaks and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he tell he told me straight up he doesn't do high end breaks. You know, he keeps it kind of affordable. You know, so I mean, I'm I, I'm trying to do that, but it's you know maybe I went too expensive with that one box, but you know I wanted to put something out there that people might be interested in too. With the Ripken rookie card and the uh, F-Face bat. No, but whatever. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to shut her down. I appreciate you guys for stopping by, hanging out, chit-chatting, chit-chatting, talking baseball, talking baseball cards, whatever, uh, talking about the national, all that good stuff. I hope it happens. I'd be tempted to go, actually, now. I'm feeling pretty confident about the whole COVID thing that um, – the masks are working. Um, it's going to be hard to social distance there, but I'd also like to bump into some of the, you know, our fellow YouTubers there and uh, just kind of, you know, 
and have a brainstorming session about channels and and how people other people do their channels and uh, yeah Alex uh, have a good night and you know maybe meet one of you guys or all of you guys there who knows I'm fortunate enough that it's close to me like if it was in Chicago or LA or somewhere like that I wouldn't be able to go I would just have to wait till it gets here but this would be my first one um, and before this whole thing hit I was excited about going I was like yeah I'm going I'm going you know, I'm already looking at the ticket prices and all that stuff as far as entry fees and uh, the autograph sessions, what you can buy into and how it gets up into the hundreds of dollars for, you know, the autograph sessions and all that good stuff as far as um, access. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I hope it happens and I do want to go. So I'm feeling pretty good about it as far as, you know, not getting sick. And not spreading it around. <clears throat> but anyway. Thanks again guys. Thanks for um, sharing your love for the hobby. And um, with all of us too. Um, don't forget to check each other out. Uh, each other's channels out. Promote everyone that you see along the way. Um, I put it out there for this new guy that I came in contact tonight. Matter of fact I'll link it again for you guys. That are here late and maybe not have seen it this guy right here i know one of you went over there and subbed him up already but one more time and he doesn't know i'm doing this i'm just doing this because i saw his i found his channel tonight and i'm like yeah this is pretty cool and he's a fellow youtuber he's he's a smallish smallish he does have 400 subscribers now he's not under 100 you know and we should be growing those guys that are under 100 getting them to that first 100 and having helping them reach that first milestone you know um and uh, we should all be doing that and helping each other grow that's all speaking of the blue wrench my car is about 3,000 miles overdue for an oil change <laughs> yeah well you know what so, you know, you don't have to do oil changes every 3,000 miles. They have this synthetic stuff that you can use that gets you like 16,000 miles. And I've used that in my Jeep and stuff. So, you know, it works. It works. Just putting that out there. It costs a little bit more. But if you're going to get all those extra miles out of it, why not? Um, I do have my new truck. So I will be doing the 3,000 mile thing for a while. Uh, because it is a lease and you know I don't know what my contract really says about all that I don't want to screw it up but I love my new truck you guys some of you guys have seen it in my flea market video um, so anyway thanks again everyone enjoy your upcoming week at work I know it's hard to believe it's coming up already the weekends go always go so fast but, um, yeah, it'll be the weekend again before you know it. That's the way I look at it. So thanks again, everyone. I appreciate it. And um, just help each other grow their channels, guys. That's all I can say. That's probably the most important thing we can do with our channels and with our, we'll just call it our celebrity, even though we're not really celebrities. But we have, we may have more than these other guys, like, I've got 800 finally. Oh, my God, you know. Um, so if I can advertise that and, and let people hear, you know, people saying that, is that, let's grow these little guys. Let's grow everyone. Let's get everyone to 1,000. There's so many people out there. When you look at the big channels, they got 60,000 subscribers, 40,000 subscribers. There's 40,000, 60,000 people out there. You know, it's hard to believe that they haven't found us yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we lacking that the bigger channels aren't um i know some of us are new and and six months old less than a year old i've been doing this now for two years again it wasn't all baseball but um you know have i don't know I, i've been finding it hard to grow i've been discouraged at times so i've turned that around and i'm, I'm looking at it like all right it's my job to help other people grow their channels you know and that's what i'm going to do Help other people grow their channels and spread that love to everyone, you know, no matter who they are. Um, 
That's why everyone that comes into this channel gets a blue wrench so they can freely list their YouTube channels and they can list anyone else. I don't care. You can list all your people that you're subscribed to. You know what I mean? So if you guys know, uh, I'm sure you, some of you have seen him, James Gippy Gip. I remember subscribing to him for the first time when he was really, really small, like a couple thousand subscribers. He's over 13,000 subscribers already. And it's um, he's gotten there within six months. He's grown exponentially. He's getting like a thousand subscribers a month to his channel. And all he does, besides talking hillbilly rednecky stuff or whatever, is he promotes other people's channels on his channel. The way he does it is different. Like he wants you to subscribe to someone else in the stream. And then when you subscribe to their channel, he wants you to link their channel on his site instead of your own channel. He doesn't allow anyone to link their own channel. He wants you to link someone else's channel, if that makes any sense. It does. It does. I've been over there, and, and I've done it You know, on his channel. I've been subscribed to him for uh, probably a year now. Um and I've seen how he grows his channel. Uh, I want to take it a different route. I want to give everyone the opportunity to list your own channel. But also now we can start listing other people's channels that we are subscribed to. Because there's so many guys out there. I'm finding new guys all the time that I have never even heard of. Sometimes I'll go to someone's channel and I'll check just who they're subscribed to. And I'll see all these names. And it gives you the option right there to subscribe to their channel. So you click on them. You go to their channel. You can check it out. If you'd like it, you sub them up, you know. It's it's actually pretty – it's not as simple as it used to be, but it's still pretty simple to subscribe to someone that you've never heard of. And that's just go to uh, someone's homepage and look, list on, look on their who they're subscribed to, click on it, on their subscriptions, and the whole list, everyone they're subscribed to will show up if they have it listed as public. And I've done that, and I've gone down people's list, and I've subbed people up. Left and right, like, oh, I'm going to check this guy. Oh, yeah, check this one. Boom, 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 boom. And that's a nice way to find a whole lot of new channels. There's a lot of them out there. I was surprised how many there are. But anyway, that's that's another story for another day. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out, chit-chatting, and just having a good old time. Um, what I'll try to do is list um, when I put in, in the description of this channel. I'll let you guys know, um, you know, like the max number of viewers and the view time that I got from doing this live stream. Uh, that helps people decide to do live streams that may be a little hesitant. If you need, if you've got the thousand viewers, but you don't have the 4,000 hours viewed time, live streaming helps a lot, especially if you have a lot of people in there like Jeff Airtime, who does his Sunday, um, his Sunday thing, his Sunday live um, he usually gets a lot of people in there and it's because he has gives away giveaways all the time too, but he has people in there. He does live for an hour or so, and that helps him with his 4,000 hours. Now he, I don't think he's got a thousand subscribers yet. So that's the thing that's holding him back. It's the same thing that's holding me back, you know, from well, the, getting monetized or actually being able to broadcast straight through YouTube on my phone live instead of going through a third party program that may or may not be reliable or may or may not be, you know, blocked by YouTube one day because they want you to go through them and not a third party type program. But anyway, um, again, I'll try to list all that max number of viewers. I've already seen, I got to 10 thumbs up. So there's 10 likes. And I will list the total hours viewed. I will try to list the, the average minutes watched. So that will help you guys just figure it out how it works. Um, but anyway, thanks again for watching. Thanks uh, for just being you and being willing to hang out. And thank you for loving the same hobby that, that I do. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. This is Boomslang signing out saying peace, guys. Hey, Mick, we'll catch you in the next one, okay? Hit a homer for me. All right. Good night, guys.
Dr. Terry, last video on the Ohio card shop. Fantastic. Okay. Here's mobile one and it's got 14,000 miles. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Change it once a year. I drive more than that a year, so I need to change it a couple times a year. But again, with my new truck, I got to do the 3,000 mile thing for a while um, until, you know, I don't know. I forgot what the lease actually says. Um, I, I saw it. I haven't uh, gone to it, like the Ohio card shop. Yes, I saw the title. I just haven't clicked on it yet. All right. Good night, everyone. We're at two hours and 26 and a half minutes, and we're going to cut it off there. I usually cut off the, the, the even minute, like the quarter hour, the half hour, you know, three-quarter hour. I guess we can hang around for another three minutes, and that'll give us a nice even, even – um, number uh, again guys any questions about anything email me um, my email is listed there somewhere yeah there it is it's still on the screen and um, no that's that's the other guy's thing here that's the other guy's channel and all that typing and it wasn't typing how's that There we go. There's my email. Feel free to email me with any questions, comments, or anything that interests you or whatnot, whatever. It's fine. I check my email several times a day, especially at work. I work when I'm not supposed to, but, yeah, it is what it is. It's work. All right, we got two minutes left. We'll leave with a parting shot of, of all the, uh, well, the sorting that I was started today and didn't get to finish because I got the phone call. Get out of there. Let's bring the phone over the top. My land over again. Sorry about that. Hope you guys don't get uh, vertigo. So these are just ones that I was sorting out today before Art called. And these are like. Hall of Famers, fan favorites type stuff. Got up top here. There's some up there. Cuisinberry Bonds. I got uh, Hershiser. Got some Manny's. There's this little stack of Justice. This here is all, all Sean Green's right here. A ton of Sean Green's. It's ridiculous. I didn't know Sean Green had that many cards. All right. So that's all that. Let's get the camera back in its holder. There we go. Beautiful. This holder is not made for this phone. It's or this camera. It's a. It's actually a phone holder that I'm holding my webcam. In. Got rounded grips with holding up the square square camera. Doesn't work all that well. But we're there, guys. We're at the time limit. All right. Thanks again, guys. Everyone, good night. What I use Messenger allows one to retain privacy. It's great for videos and everything else. Okay, cool. All right. Good night. We'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you tomorrow. End it now. Okay, what do we got?